This is the Sony A9, the latest full-frame E-mount camera, and it brings some really revolutionary features to the market. Let's take a look. The Alpha 9 has some truly stunning features, and at the heart of it all is the Exmo RS stacked CMOS sensor. The stacked structure of the sensor enables some really high-speed operation, such as 20 frames per second, and also enables silent shooting and blackout-free viewfinder. The 4D focus system has 693 phase detection autofocus points built into the image sensor. And on top of that, you get great image quality with 24 megapixel resolution, high ISO capability and a wide dynamic range, and a five axis stabilizer built into the body. Furthermore, in terms of operability, we've raised the bar again. So we now have quad VGA OLED viewfinder with 3.69 million dots and a refresh rate of up to 120 frames per second. But you also have some nice smaller additions on there, such as an autofocus joystick, touchscreen, and a PC sync terminal and LAN terminal. We've added a new battery with the Alpha 9, the new Z series, enabling you to shoot for longer. And there's dual SD card slots, of which we also have a UHS-2 compatible slot as well. The Alpha 9's revolutionary features were all made possible because of its Exmo RS sensor. Now this is the first time that you've ever seen this type of sensor on a full frame camera. And what an Exmo RS sensor is, is it's a stacked CMOS sensor. This means there's a separate layer on the sensor dedicated mainly for circuitry. This enables the circuitry to be much bigger and handle massive amounts of data coming from the pixels. That enables the 20 frames per second shooting coming off that sensor. Furthermore, it means that we can do 20 frames per second shooting with silent shutter. So it makes absolutely no noise. This means you can shoot in situations that you've just not been able to shoot it in the past where you're not allowed to make a noise. On top of that, this special sensor also enables blackout free shooting. So that means that while you're looking through the viewfinder, you have no interruption of your view. So there's no mirror flapping up and down causing any blackout or no noticeable refresh in the viewfinder at all. You can always see your subject. The Alpha 9 is our first full frame E-mount camera to feature 4D focus. 4D focus is a sign of quality for the autofocus system on our cameras. And what it means is it's got a really wide area of autofocus. It can focus really quickly and it's gonna be really good at tracking moving subjects. There are 693 autofocus points built into the image sensor of the Alpha 9, and they cover 93% of the image sensor. So that means that wherever the subject is in the frame, the camera is going to be able to track it. And that's just revolutionary for full frame cameras. In terms of the speed, it's about 25% quicker than an Alpha 7R Mark II. And our eye autofocus system, which is very well appreciated within the market, where it will be able to track a subject's eye very easily, even in autofocus continuous, has been improved once more. In terms of low light capability, it can focus down to EV minus three, so in some really challenging situations. And all this is made possible because of that Exmo RS sensor. Because of the high speed data output, it can actually do 60 autofocus and auto exposure calculations every second. So while you're shooting at 20 frames per second, three times between shots, it can actually calculate the autofocus and the auto exposure. And that's mind blowing. The Alpha 9 is capable of producing excellent images. And this is down to the 24 megapixel resolution sensor. It has an ISO capability of 204,800. And on top of that, it really gives a wide dynamic range. We have our steady shot inside feature here as well. So we have a built-in stabilizer in the body giving up to five steps of effective correction. So even more than our Alpha 7R Mark II or S Mark II. When you combine that high ISO capability with a five axis stabilizer, which again, being in the body means whatever lens you put on the front, you've always got stabilization and the low light possibilities are almost endless. We also have now added a joystick onto the back of the cameras. So this means if you're in flexible spot mode or expanded flexible spot mode, you can very quickly and easily change your focus points. We've also added a touch screen on the camera as well. So if you want to touch to select your focus point, you now have that option on here as well. 
For the menu system, we have a similar interface that you might have seen our Alpha 6500 or Alpha 99 Mark II. But something we've added, thanks to user feedback, is My Menu. So here you can now add your favorite options and customize it to your wishes. You can create up to 30 different options that you want to have easily accessible within that menu and you can sort them into the order that you want as well. With the Alpha 9, we've also introduced a new battery. This is our Z series battery, the MPFZ100, and it has 2.2 times the amount as the MPFW50, which you're probably familiar with from our Alpha 7 series and our other E-mount cameras. So that's gonna enable you to shoot for a lot longer, whether it's with stills or video. To further enhance the operability of the camera, we've also added some other smaller points. So you get a dial on top here for drive mode, you have single shots, or you have burst shooting in high mode at 20 frames per second, medium at 10 frames per second, or low at five frames per second, as well as self time and bracketing. And beneath this dial, you can separately select your autofocus mode. So AFS for single shot autofocus, AFC for continuous direct manual focus and manual focus, also accessible here. And we've added other small touches, such as an AF on button at the back. So for people who like to back button focus, this is easily accessible. But like many of the buttons on the camera, it's also customizable. You'll notice that the dial on the back of the camera is slightly bigger and sturdier than we've had on our other cameras. There's more defined clicks. So this means you can be very precise and not scared of touching it by accident. So there you have it, the Alpha 9, a real game changer. It has that revolutionary Exmor RS full frame sensor, which enables 20 frames per second shooting, which can be in complete silence. The blackout free viewfinder, which is 3.69 million dots and a refresh rate of 120 frames per second. That amazing 4D autofocus system with 693 autofocus points covering 93% of the sensor, looking down to EV minus three. Great image quality with 24 megapixel resolution, high ISO capability, and that five axis stabilizer built inside. A much improved operability. So now you get a joystick on the back to change autofocus points, you have touch screens, you have additional dials and customization options on there, as well as dual SD card slots and a longer lasting battery. All in all, it gives you a really promising camera. If you'd like to find out more information about the Alpha 9, go to the Sony website. Thank you.